Welcome back to Avernum Escape from the Pit. We have a encounter I am not fond of. Step forward. Maybe try the ensnaring wand, because it's going to do... Yeah, you're only going to be able to move one, so you're only going to be able to swing at Aldos. Move up. Fiery one to get that chip damage before healing Aldos. It's a new day. I am feeling less crap. So hopefully that will translate into being able to play better and complain less. Keep on healing. Want you to move up, 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 fire. Eldos doesn't need to heal this turn. Wanna finish off that ghost? Come on, there we go. Missing 95% feels really bad. Honestly, finish that one off, maybe. Dang. Back off and fire to finish it. Straight places repeatedly, I guess is the way to go here. Was that it? Can I turn the lights on now? Please? As you emerge from the twisty passages, the light obscuring black mist disappears. It's still very dark, but you might be able to generate some light now. Yeah, it took me 20 minutes to do all of that. 20 or 30 minutes. I... Wait, what? Oh, there's still... A ghost and a ghast. I guess. Tend to melee that, but whatever. Uh, honestly, focus on the gas because it's going to die faster. I think. Big swing. Heal you. That's a very annoying encounter when you can only see two tiles away. Bronze shield, rusty helmet, which has value apparently. And it's a good thing the game gives us some piercing crystals through here. <laughs> this long cave seems to be the lowest point in this dizzying spiral. It is freezing down here. Crystals of ice coat the walls and floor, and the bodies scattered on the floor are solid blocks. The bodies are perfectly preserved, and they all clearly died of extreme violence. They're not all human. Some are Slitherakai. This morbid scene must be the center of the curse that has affected these, infected these caverns and the area outside. If it could possibly be listed, lifted, it must be done here. Spectral Commander, Ghasts, Two Whites. 
Suddenly, time seems to stop. As you enter this final chamber, you have a strange, ghostly vision. You see the ca huge caverns of Avernum. A group of humans in archaic armor run through them, clearly panicked. Moments later, you see the cause of their flight. A horde of lizard men chasing them, weapons drawn, howling for their blood. The humans flee into these winding tunnels and fight a desperate running battle down the, to the deepest level. And the, eventually, when they see their cause is hopeless, the ma survivors magically seal themselves into this cavern. There they starve slowly, consumed with hatred for their killers and everyone else who dares to be alive. It is this force of their hatred that causes the dead to rise and to rise again and attack the people of this area. As you regain your senses, <clears throat> excuse me, you wonder if you will be able to affect the powerful curse in the slightest. Uh, where are my energy potions? Did I give them to the wrong person? Oh, no, they're on your bar. Right, use an energy potion. Protect. War blessing. Summon shade. There's a spirit lurking here in the center of this dark spiral. It's the ghost of a human warrior, a soldier of the Empire based on the insignia on his chest. His spectral limbs aren't connected to each other. He was torn to bits when he died, and he remains that way in unlife. He has been here for many years, perhaps since the days of the first expedition, and his imprisonment has left him consumed with hatred for the still living. He points at you and opens his mouth. No sound comes out. His ghost lungs are no longer connected to his ghost mouth. Day 48, in the ghost house. Then he swoops silently toward you, eager to drain your warmth. You sense that this ghost is bound to the chamber where he first died. If you flee, you might be able to escape. Right, so this is going to be an interesting one. I can't do uh, cold damage. I'm going to go ahead and Steel Ward and then Oozing Wand. See who I can't Acid, which is... Actually, I hit all of them except for that corner one. Uh... Can't do much but smite. Probably should have done Firebolt for the cleaving, actually. Uh, I'll go ahead and Speed Burst because this is clearly a boss fight. Shade, I, I love your energy, but... Come on, buddy. You get two swings, that's... Hmm... Okay, you barely survive. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and group heal. Oh, we got slowed. The slow ate the paste. Jerks. Alright. Uh, gas is going to be faster to kill, so focus on it. Bolt of fire. And then throw a heal on you. Fire. Uh, then that white is pretty low. So fire on it. Oh no, the greater shade just does cold damage when it swings. Heal you. Fire bolt the white. There we go. They got the ghast. I mean, it would be different if they would at least target the shade, you know? How long are you going to be stunned? Alright, finish the white. Is Kirin going to... No, the stun is also a mental effect. Apparently. Spectral Commander opens his mouth in a silent howl. The spirits of his fellow explorers chained here fade into being and begin the hunt for you. 
Okay, so that's two expedition spirits. Two is a manageable number. I'm going to start with that. Just re-up acid. Oh, yeah, just take out the expedition spirits. He was going to die to acid. I shouldn't have wasted that. Oh, well. Uh, heal yourself, because you're more in the path of danger. There we go. Now the shade is doing some tanking. Finish off the expedition spirit. I still don't understand how that's calculated. Like, which one is A, which one is B. Okay, you're just gonna keep... Oh, that's different enemies. Fallen Slits. Well, you're still just engaged, so... More of that. Why did... Whatever. Just keep crunching down the ads. Explores. Once again. Alright. I think this is a just kill the boss scenario. Um, they're probably going to be immune? How did that inflict acid? <laughs> you say the ghost of the commander of the humans who died here. His parts, one after another, silently fade away. Immediately you feel the effect on the icy tunnels. The evil forces around you weaken and you feel a touch of warmth in the air. Must have been the strength of this soul that kept the evil forces focused here. Unfortunately, you also sense that the curse here hasn't been removed. It's only in retreat. I've only earned this area a brief, much welcomed respite from the undead. Perhaps someday someone will come here strong enough to destroy this curse. Alas, it won't be you. Perhaps in some sort of sequel. Keep yourself alive. There we go. Because, yeah, having that shade there able to eat so many attacks because it's immune to cold is actually like, incredibly good. What do we got here? A Wisdom Crystal, a Molten Halberd, plus two to Gymnastics. Why is that Molten? Either way, that's finally an upgrade. I mean, it's only plus... 8 plus 2, but it also has a cleave while being better, which is rather incredible. Once again, this can go down here in the situational pile once I have more options. There's an ancient frozen human body here. Her staff is broken, but the silver brooch she wore is still intact. Notice there are several pearls set in the metal. It must have been brought from the surface. Pearl brooch, which is a that's a key item? This lovely silver brooch set with pearls was found at the bottom of a terrifying undead infested tunnel. The amulet also always feels icy cold. Spear and money. Lantern. Blood crystal. Bronze broadsword. Your cash.
From everything I've heard about the first expedition, there's no way they came down here with this crap. Of course, one might view it as just kind of their better gear has degraded into being the equivalent of these items, but that feels generous. Alright. Well, that's that irritating dungeon taken care of. And we did first try the boss, so that is that is a comfort. Let's just get this place fully mapped out. I still don't know what those winches are for. Came up here, right? Yeah. Still, that's a reasonably major quest, it feels like. I mean, it led us to a magic item. Let's see, what skill is gymnastics again? That's like just chains to dodge. Uh, 2% per level of evading, and 10% chance of starting combat rounds with a bonus AP. Doesn't a basic attack cost 8 AP? That could actually be a pretty major effect if I'm remembering that correctly. What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? Why are there more? Why there's so many more? Why are there so many more that are so tanky? Guests are not normally this tanky. Oh god, it's the Abaddon thing. One of my main complaints toward the end of Abaddon was Within an encounter, there would be multiple instances of, you know, the, quote, same enemy that would have different stats. Particularly different elemental resistances and immunities. Ow. 
cripes. All right. Uh, the ghoul should go down pretty fast. Right. Ay, ay, ay. A bit irritating to throw another fairly tough encounter at me after I beat the boss. Like, I know it said, oh, you're on you only knocked back the curse, but like... Bleh. Prevent that guy from even becoming a problem. I am not going to make the mistake of pressing forward. Nice. Land the slow. Get some healing around. Please tell me that was it. <laughs> okay. So now I can return to town. Claim hopefully quite a large bounty. <clears throat> Then again, this isn't the most prosperous settlement in Avernum. <clears throat> I think I solved the undead problem. There was a curse on a nearby cave. I lifted it, sort of. You describe in great detail your adventures in the pit to the northeast. Elmer claps you on the shoulder. Well done. Even a respite from the attacks is worthwhile. You've saved lives. I'll make sure people hear about your deed here. A few minutes later, word of your deeds has spread through this small town, and you're presented with a pouch containing a ring and a heavy sack of silver coins, for which you feel very appreciated. 
500 coins and the mica band which is a running item uh it's a general status resistance ring which is you know quite nice to have you already have a shield ring you have the silver lining bit silver shining bit shining silver band bubble you up give you some Strength. Let's see. What do I want to go into? Since you have the level of bows, I'll go into the base point of gymnastics. And then... Yeah, let's take more parry. You. Very simple. Okay. So that's another fairly significant fight done. Or quest done. Uh. Let's go take on. Let's go attempt the Ogre Mage. Which I believe is... Near the Tower of Magi. Okay. Presumably, it's that big banner up there. And there are some standard ogres here. We are taking down pretty handily. Actually, a daze should do pretty well here. It dazed the one that I wanted to target. That's always a risk, I guess. No, it takes more than nine to make a swing. There we go. And I can attack him as soon as his daze runs out. That worked out really nicely, actually. Ogre cave. Oh god, it's a whole dungeon. I always think it would be a single encounter. Uh, okay, since it's not a single encounter, let's just head west and explore the area around the Tower of Magi. Find one of the areas of intense geothermal activity which keep a vernum warm and alive. The heat from these natural vents feeds the plants and keeps you from freezing to death. As you enter, you think you hear loud, angry shrieks to the south. Must be your imagination. What sort of creature would want to live in this unpleasant area? Encounter several imps who have been enjoying the hellish volcanic heat. These foul creatures love to devour unwary travelers like you. Who are you calling unwary? That's a lot. Of 
right, but they're not exactly the toughest. They're immune to fire, I think. They're kind quite like spires, sire. Turn around. There's another dungeon right there, probably Imp Cave or something if I were to guess. Oh. On this broad ledge hanging out over the lava, you see a remarkable sight. Clearly, there was a battle here of horrifying magnitude. However, the fight is not over. It's been magically frozen in place. The battle was between humans, mainly wizards, and demons. The demons outnumber the humans, most of whom are dead. A fireball hangs over them in midair, motionless. How the battle is going, however, is entirely moot. The combatants stand utterly sit still. A thick layer of soot covers them. While the human forces are in ruins, one person catches your eye. He was a mage, perhaps l perhaps lying at the corner of the frozen area. Flushed in his hand is a crystal wand. Explore the area. You carefully move forward, trying to look around while staying as far away from the demons as possible. Unfortunately, the moment you get close enough to look, the battle comes back to life. The demons take only a moment to finish off the pathetic human resistance, and they turn on you. Before they attack, however, you manage to grab the wand. Basilisk Fang Wand. These are... Alright. Peace. We're at the entrance to a huge cavern. You behold a truly amazing sight. Beautiful and terrifying at the same time. The cave floor slopes down toward the center, so you have an excellent view, despite the mist. In the center of the cave, you can see a large lake fed by a natural spring. Its runoff flows to the south, where, it's poured into, where it pours into a huge lake of magma. Then the water, with an eardrum-searing hissing noise, boils away. The result is that the cavern is not only noisy, but filled with a thick, choking white mist. The humidity has enabled a wide variety of fungus to grow. You can already feel the middle dew forming under your armor. It's not the most comfortable place to be, but it's a wonderful sight. Gattered Fort. Once again, I'm discovering locations, but not really intending to explore them too closely until I'm either pointed there or I'm otherwise done with the region. Beware, unstable ground and fumerals. Several of the merchants who are camping at this sweltering oasis look like they would like to make a bit of money off of you to stop to do some, a bit of shopping. Let's see, slightly expensive prices. Speed potion. Return life scroll is tempting, but no. I just, I forget to use potions because they're single target. Wait, you're different merchants, I think. You are. Uh, give me the Acid Shower Scroll. I can't skip this encounter. <laughs> Of 
funny. All crystals. Which usually means there's gonna be some cool stuff around. Some kind of magic circle here. You carefully make your way up to the end of a stone outcropping over a subterranean fumarole. A huge pool of steaming mud bubbles below you, promising certain death to anyone who slips. At the end of the outcropping, you find that someone has etched a circle of runes into the stone. After a few moments, you begin to see an image floating over it. It begins to solidify and move closer. As the shade flows closer to you, you can see it is a demon bound with spectral chains. Wait. The shape resolves into a giant inked demon floating over the lava. He's restrained by gigantic golden chains. He looks at you with great disdain and says, Be gone, mortals, and leave me to my humiliation. Return when you have the power to reach Grahoth. Until then, you are of no use to me. Do not come back until Grahoth has been freed from his prison. Having said his peace, he floats away again, leaving you alone. It's not the Hawkeye Lord's name, I don't think. Some of the water. Thoughts are clear what an invigorating drink that was. Ward of Thoughts. Which feels relevant to the demon encounter, depending how long that lasts. Because we did have that interaction with the Enlightened Boff. Oh, worm? Now entering the honeycomb. I'm not sure if I want to be in the honeycomb. I know there's a dragon here somewhere. That's a Slith Zerakai encounter. You can see a group of Slith warriors has established an advanced camp here. The Avernum soldiers must not have noticed them yet. It's a nasty looking group, but you might be able to handle them. Two mages, four warriors. Snaring wand over there, and then honestly, just pummel them with some AOE. Step up, don't crystalline wand, that's a huge waste. Here, and to double down on their ensnarement. Knock them back. Fire on that one, because it's weak. Now I'm going to fire on that mage. Focus on that warrior? Uh, don't, use, don't waste the crystalline wand. You're immobile. Alright, throw down a daze instead then. You're dazed, you're dazed. You have nothing going against you. 
you're weakened. Crap. Chances just went down significantly, I will admit. Go ahead and crystalline wand up there. Try and even odds somewhat. Uh, you don't have a heal on you. Fire on that mage. Fire on that mage. Okay. I need to buff more, but I can handle this. Oh, and I have levels. All right, you. Take an endurance. Take a tool use. Take a lethal blow. Intelligence. Priest skills, mage skills. Their positioning rolled differently, which is interesting. All right, run up and hit the mage immediately. We're down the days. Fire at that mage. Knockback. Is there another mage? There is one there. Yeah, I've got to kill the casters first. You go ahead, and this is a good chance for that acid shower. And then you don't have a healing elixir on you, so. Uh, no cleave, that's fine. Clear out some of the moves. Error wand, and then you, I guess. You, I guess. Cut all the missing. Once again. The knockback and AoE damage in. You're gonna fall. I think that's fine this time. That's less fine. Use the return life scroll. And finish off the mage. Nice. Okay. Work on finishing the weakened warriors.
Backstab bonus. Keep your yield up. I didn't even realize there was a regular slip still up. I needed to take a moment to actually process how that happened. A knockback happened. Step back and fire, because that will finish it. I targeted the wrong thing, because that actually helps me, because I get the backstab bonus. Ha ha, loser. Victorious, who searched the Slith camp. One of them had a very nice sword. Since Sliths don't use swords, it was being used as a tool. Fortunately, it's still in good shape. A Seeking Rapier. 5% parry chance. That might be worth... You have some dual wield. That foolishness aside, let's head back to town, and next time on Let's Play Avernum Escape from the Pit, uh, Ogre Cave time, I guess, because that's a dungeon we still have a bounty for. See you guys then.